All right, everybody, Nurse Brett here. <laughs> I'm gonna feed these European Hornets some real maple syrup mixed with a little bit of water, beetles. And I'm gonna use a, a three milliliter syringe with a filler needle. I'm gonna suck up some fluid into this and I'm gonna feed it to these girls here They've been on this nest, they've been hatching. There's probably, oh my God, there's probably, there's probably 40 adults sitting here and they've been out for a while so they can fly, they can sting. Fingers crossed for the sake of a cool video. I'm gonna try to see if I can't feed them once. So I'll leave the camera shot like that. I was gonna have a second camera set up but memory card's full apparently. It's just a regular, BD syringe and a uh, blunt fill needle and basically what happens is you use these for when you're um, filling a, a, a syringe from a vial that has really viscous fluid in it. Whew, don't buzz like that, make me nervous. And it's just a really, really thick gauge syringe. I don't know what gauge this is. It's probably something ridiculous. 18 gauge. I've been stuck with an 18 gauge needle, like an actual needle. This is just a fill needle, so it's, I mean, it's, it's blunt, but man, you jab hard enough, you'll get through something. So just take a little bit of this real maple syrup. And I'm being very delicate when I'm touching this table because they're very sensitive. Just stir this up a little bit. They're gonna love it. Just like that, I don't know if you saw that. Basically just sugar water. But um, these guys will actually find trees to go and get fluid from it, so get sap. And that's basically what maple syrup is, it's just tree sap. Just pull that down, let the needle empty. And there you go. So now we got a full syringe. So let's try it on some of these. They're actually trying to help a couple of these ones that died, they're trying to help them out. It's kind of sad. Help them out of the comb, that is. Trying to bump the table because they start spasm. <laughs> that one doesn't look so hot though. Maybe she's dead. Nope, she's not dead. So check out when she goes and actually starts eating this fluid, the maple syrup. You can actually see the fluid being drawn up in her mandibles. So there's actually a, a straw-like structure in their mouths that will suck up fluid like that. And it will you know, suck up fluid out of nectar out of a flower or um, water off of a puddle. They do require a good bit of fluid. So when you notice that they're being two together that start looking like they're biting each other, like in the face, that's actually them trying to swap fluids. So one will actually be thinking it's getting one from the other and vice versa. And like there's ones right here in the middle. They're swapping fluids or trying to swap fluids. But unfortunately, they both need fluid and they're really probably not getting one from the other. So I ran around to each one of them, just dropped off a little bead and gave them all sustenance. So with that also being having a sugar in it, that also gives them energy. So the more I give it to them, the more active they become. Now these things are normally in the dark. They're, they usually do most of their work and their building and their feeding in the dark. So this, you, they almost look kind of blind when, when I'm giving them this fluid. And it's mainly because they smell it 
and they're going by smell like as to where, sleep. what direction they, they're going to be going. All I have to do is just put this somewhat close to her, and she'll perk right up. Oh, settle down. See? That's just so wild, you can see you're sucking up. You can see the fluid just disappearing. And then she almost scrapes that straw-like structure across the top of the cell or comb there. Scrapes it across the top of the silk cap looking for more of the fluid. And then she could smell it on that needle as I brought it close to her. The antennas are scraping across, so she has a sensation in those antenna. And when I bring that thing nearby, her antennas perk up. She knows it's coming. I would love to know how they sense things. There's two here that are going after each other in the mouths, trying to get fluid from each other. And at this point, when I'm feeding them, they're not sensitive at all to the sensation of of vibration. They're not nearly as, as in tune. They're solely, it seems like their focus is primarily on smell. And even like when I'm moving around, like they're not looking at me. They're, they're looking around on the cells and in the cells for food and for that maple syrup. And they do rely heavily on each other for fluid and for food and just, they're, they're very social. So social wasp just doesn't quite do them justice. They're, it's more than just them living together. Like they communicate significantly. Look at those antennas rubbing up against each other and they're communicating. The life now. Trying, to, trying to find fluid. And look how busy these nest is now, now that they've been fed. And I did more feeding than just what you saw on the video. I went around to a lot of them, and, f and even the ones coming out of the cells that are still kind of in the cell. I fed them too. And it doesn't take very long when I put that bead of maple syrup in front of them for that stuff to get sucked up. Like, it's quick. Like I said, they do need a lot of fluid and a lot of, um, a lot of hydration. Now, there's no larva in this cell, so these guys aren't getting fed at all from the larva. They're getting solely fed from me. And that's actually a bald-faced hornet comb behind there. And there's bald-faced hornet coming out of there that I've fed several times with, uh, with fluid. So what you're seeing on the surface there, there's probably just that many underneath of the comb. On those three comb there. So this is about maybe a day and a half worth of hatching. So I had it sitting here just to kind of spend a little bit of time with them and seeing if there's a behavioral change from one hatching of adults where I'm not involved at all compared to hatchings where I'm involved every day. And there was, there was, there was significant change because when I would come into the room and come over and just drag the, the needle onto the table, they would perk up, as opposed to when I would do that to the same, or do a different set of hatchings, where they, I would drag that across there, and they almost looked aggressive, like, very sensitive to that sound, but in a different manner. So the other ones knew that that sound meant food. It's almost like Pavlov's dog. This one you can see really up close her sucking that right off the right off the needle. Look at that. It's incredible. Unfortunately, this is the extent of my zooming uh, capabilities with this camera. 
so you can't see what that structure looks like, that apparatus that she uses to, to suck up fluids. But she knew it was coming, see that? She opened up her mandibles like she knew that was coming. She didn't move from that position other than just opening up the mandibles and sticking out that apparatus. Alright guys, thanks so much for tuning in to check out this video. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a close-up of what these guys look like um, eating and just communicating with each other. I know there's not as much activity in this other than just being fed, but uh, I thought you guys might enjoy this. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed already to my channel, please consider subscribing. Um, I'd love to have you as one of my Hornet Nest family. Um, if you guys have subscribed already and you've been coming back and checking out my videos, I very much appreciate you guys' support and comments and, uh, and encouragement to do various different types of videos and things. Um, if there's something you guys would like to see future videos, please drop in the comments. Let me know. I do read all the comments and try to reply as many as I can. Um, I do get inundated with comments and it's hard to reply to everybody and even to even see all the comments. Um, but I do try to read through several of them as much as I can throughout the day. So, um, if you guys, like, again, if you guys enjoy what you see here, please just drop in the comments. Let me know what you think. And thanks so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.